Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make madeleines. These are a lovely little French cake um, and they're made in a little mould which uh, has a shell shaped base to it, um, these little moulds, and then uh, the madeleine is a sponge which rises up and domes. So you have the shell shape on one side and the dome on the other side basically. Um, and they're very, very nice and very light. So I'm going to flavour mine with a little bit of lemon zest. I have seen some that flavour them with other things, orange or uh, vanilla. I've got some vanilla in mine as well. Um, but you can flavour them as you wish. And the first thing I've done is I've greased my madeleine mould and I've put it into the fridge to chill and it will stay there until we're ready to bake. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this I have 150 grams, which is one cup, based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup, of plain flour. Then I have uh, 125 grams, half a cup plus two tablespoons of caster sugar, 113 grams, uh, half a cup of melted unsalted butter. In this dish I have two whole medium eggs and one medium egg white. That would be large in the USA in all cases. I have uh, seven grams, one teaspoon of honey, five millilitres, which is uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, four grams, one teaspoon of baking powder, and the zest of uh, a lemon and so we simply need to mix these ingredients together into a batter and I'm going to start doing that by uh, mixing my lemon zest into my sugar and I'm going to rub the zest into the sugar um, because I think that helps to release the, the, the lemon oils to give it more flavour And with that zest rubbed into the sugar quite a bit, I'm going to add in my whole eggs and my egg yolk, uh, my egg white. And I'm simply going to whisk those together. And that's good enough. So then I'm going to add in my vanilla and my honey. And whisk those as well. I'll just set that to one side for a moment and I'm going to put my baking powder into my flour and I'll give that a bit of a stir around just to get it mixed through a little bit and then I'm going to sift that onto the sugar and egg mixture.
and I'm going to mix that through. And that's good like that. So then I'm going to pour in my melted butter, which I've allowed to cool down a little bit. And I'm going to mix that until that's fully incorporated. I'm just going to scrape down the side of the bowl with this spatula to make sure that everything's incorporated properly. And that's good. So then what I'm going to do is put that into a smaller bowl um, so that I can then cover it and put it in the fridge and chill it for at least two hours. Longer might be better, but at least two hours. You can chill it overnight as well. You can chill it for 24 hours. It will, it will work very well. And, and once it's set up and uh, the uh, Madeleine pan is also uh, buttered and chilled, we'll be ready to bake the madeleines and for that I'll have my oven preheating at 190 degrees Celsius, 170 Celsius with a fan, uh, 375 Fahrenheit. So I'll come back when I'm ready to bake the madeleines. So I've taken my madeleine pan and my batter out of the fridge and I have my oven preheating. So I'm now going to um, scoop up the batter and I'm going to put about 29 grams into each of the shells. So I have my um, 12 Madeleine uh, molds filled and I have enough batter for another six which I will do later. So I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 11 to 12 minutes um, until the underside has gone a, a, a brown colour. Because of my pan these will go quite dark I think and then the top side has risen up and it's domed right in the centre um, and it's I can see that it's firm to the touch and at that stage I'll take them out and turn them out immediately um, uh, to allow them to cool down. And once they've cooled down, I'll come back and show you what they look like and we'll have a taste. I baked my madeleines for uh, 12 minutes and uh, they colored nicely on the bottom and they rose up and domed on the top. So I took them out of the oven and transferred them to a wire rack and I've allowed them to cool down. They're still a bit warm. Now, I would actually baked six in a different tin, which is not a madeleine tin at all, these uh, little tart tins. And the reason I did that was to show you that you can use this batter to bake lovely little cakes even without the madeleine tin. They're nice and light. And you, if you have a bun tin, you could uh, use the bun tin or something like that. So this is what mine look like at the moment. So these are... Um, the ones in the madeleine mould and they have a nice dome on them as you can see and they've uh, got the the, um, the fluting of the um, shell underneath and these are the ones uh, which I baked in the tart tin. I've already eaten one of them but I'll show you I've cut one in half so you can see inside it and they're nice and soft so I'll have a taste of this one. Mm. The 
it's very very good you can taste the vanilla and the very slight hint of lemon as well they're slightly uh, crisp on the outside and and the ones in the madeleine tin will be crisp on the outside as well that will soften um, after a while but nice uh, crisp on the outside and lovely and soft and light on the inside so this is actually a very easy recipe but it does require um, time to chill the dough thoroughly and to chill the pan that it's going to be baked in thoroughly as well so um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking